Hey, we're finally back working on the tractor tractor axle. Uh, it's been, it's actually been a, you know, a couple weeks since I've done anything, but really been waiting on uh, this little uh, spacer bushing alignment tool thing. It got the frame off. Uh, I pulled the axle out. Just about ready to cut the tube. Got a hose clamp on there and used some calipers to measure around it so it makes sure it's straight. So you're going to be cutting right at the edge of the clamp on the left. Then we're going to be cutting all right where that line is there. And welding them together and then just cut the axle by the same amount that we took out of the center of this and same thing over there It is cut. There we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, we made the cut. It's, um, but yeah, it's off. Bearing, oh, bearing support's off. We're gonna take and cut right there, and yeah. Okay. I got the tube cut off. Um, yeah, you can see that. Um, here's our hub. That's going to be, well, it goes, it's supposed to go like that. Uh, we're not framed. Here we go. It's supposed to go, you know, be cocked like that, like that side. But yeah, it's, this diff seems narrower than what I was planning on. But I think it's just because the hub and drum and you know, wheel offset aren't on there. I think she'll be plenty wide enough once we're once we're there. Yeah, we got the tube cut out. There's the water's going. We got the tube cut out. Uh, I got the spacer out of the other side with the slide hammer. Just gonna hammer this in here and line it all up like I did on the other side. Looks like that's got it. See, the uh, I mean, the cut wasn't perfect, but I mean, I was using a sawzall, so oh, that's terrible, isn't it? There we go. I was using a sawzall, but basically, that spacer is 
pretty much a placeholder for the bearing there. And it just lets me kind of fine tune a little easier having the full axle on here. And I know this axle's straight, so, you know, I don't have to be guessing at whether when I put this back together short that it's straight. So this just kind of gives me a reference. This kind of rear end, I didn't really feel like it, and you kind of can't. Like you normally, what you should do is put a rod through the entire thing that goes through both sides and then do it, then you know everything's straight. But this one actually has bearings in there, and if this line's bottom out, you can't put a rod through here, so this is going to be so short, there's going to be so little load on it, it's not going to matter on a lawnmower. So, that'll be good. I'll just tack it up and make sure everything rolls smooth. Take the spacer out and see if it rolls. It's out. That is locked up, so it's not straight. We're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> locked up. It just won't turn. Not meant at all. Yeah, so I figured the problem was the big well they did on top. Shouldn't have done that much, but. Anyway, ground out the weld, got a screwdriver in there, now even without a bearing, that spins perfect, even with that not being a bearing, so I think we're in good shape. Here we go, tapped, and tapped, there is our rear end. Gotta cut those axles down. We'll be all good to go. Hey, axle set up on the saw. Our um, markings we have to cut are on the insides. Uh, so the saw is, is you know bent this way a little bit, so that's not ideal. So we're gonna cut here and then rotate rotate the axle 180 degrees and then cut this side. And that should make the two faces kind of match nice. I'm gonna bevel them and everything anyway, but. I, ho I don't know how well this is going to cut, because this, this axle is hardened. I mean, the file can, like, eh, barely touch it, but it's pretty hard, so. We might need to heat the, heat the areas up we're going to cut with the acetylene or something, and, you know, anneal it. I don't know. It's going to be difficult to cut. Well, it does actually go. I think we're, I think we're good to go. Alright, I had to use the angle grinder to cut the axle because the blade on the saw was a little wide. It's hard and junk snowing, but anyway, I got it cobbled up into a, up into a V block. Kind of garbage here. Uh, their ends are kind of beveled. I'm just gonna tack it. You know, probably six tacks. I wish I should take weld this, but I'm not gonna bother. Tack it six spots, and then uh, we'll test fitment in the diff before it actually gets welded. Well, looks like it works. I got the pieces tacked together. Uh, I just I don't have it in all the way because the whole bearing retainer is messed up. I gotta get the 
throw them off of here, but look at that. Spins. It's hitting the shield just because it's loose, but that's good. It actually runs true. And, um, yeah. That's not bad for the way I'm cobbling this thing. She's working. Okay. The other axle's pretty much done. Uh, this one, I have tag. I don't remember if I showed it, but basically, yeah, we're clamped into the into the block. And, oh boy. And we're, um, that's not great, but we're tacked. And I'm gonna do a couple more tacks, then grind the screw out, and then actually, um, maybe a couple more, because the other axle didn't turn out as straight as I wanted it to. So, we're gonna try and, uh, tack this one up a little better before I fully weld it. Alright. I got, I had six tacks on there, I ground it back out. We've got it preheating right now. Um, yeah, basically just going to weave through there and hopefully we don't get too much to run out. And even if it binds a little, we're doing it the JMK way and we're just going to let everything wear in and it should be meant. Yeah, so I tried welding opposite on each side and hopefully not pull it too far out. We're, um, you know, we're there. Oh my. Nice grinder down. We'll slap both axles in and see what happens. Well, here we go. Both axles are in. And there's no binding actually. I mean, at first there was on this side, but I didn't have it in all the way. That spins, the bearings are crunchy, and I don't even know if they lined up right. It might not be, it might be why it's so loud, but it, that works, that works. It's all, it's all mint. Just gotta actually weld the bearing cups on. I'm gonna bring it over next door so I don't have to use the little job. And we will have ourselves a rear end and we'll gonna make some brackets to put her in. And then it's time to mount the power the power train tranny and everything. There we go. Rear axle is finished. We're all welded up. All solid. It's uh, still spins fine. Pretty, pretty well cooked the bearings in there though. I'll probably, I won't change them. I should change them, but I won't change them. Uh, yeah, mint. We're gonna make some brackets. Well, there we go. We have a rear axle. I used, well, this might be temporary, just so I can roll it around, but U-bolts are welded to the frame, and that's kind of there. Yeah, they don't, they stick out the same as they did from the factory. They actually did stick out, like, two inches or whatever. Now, the other side of the fender's bent, I'm going to fix that, but on the good side, our clearance is just prime. It's looking good. I did fail to realize, front axle, when I, when I widened 
this by the seven inches on each side. The, uh, the tires are right where the frame rails are, are on the original front axle. Well, I don't know what I'm doing about that, but that's a problem. But other than that, we're coming along. Next thing is going to be the tail housing for the transmission. And once that's done, we'll make, we'll modify our drive shaft and make mounts, make real mounts for everything. And we will have a rolling chassis with powertrain. And then it's just electrical. And I think for the battery, I'm going to cut a hole under the seat here. Um, have the length, lengthways like that. And then we have room in the back there. Or this whole area might become a fuel tank. I don't know. Or fuel tank is going to be the biggest problem because we are just super limited on space. It's going to be packed up behind the dash here once the ECM and all the electrical goes in. And yeah, we're going to be limited on space. Well. That's it, I think this is part four or whatever, there we go.